Let's solve this differential equation. We have 1 over theta times dy d theta is equal to y times sine theta over y squared plus 1. And we also know that y of pi is equal to 1. Okay, let's go ahead to move all the y's together and move all the thetas together. Let's take care of the theta first. Let's first multiply d theta on both sides. And you see, we also have another theta in the denominator on the left-hand side, right? Let's go ahead, multiply theta on both sides as well. So that they cancel. And let me put the theta like this, right here. So on the left-hand side, we just have 1 times dy. All in all, it's just dy by itself on the left-hand side. And this is equal to, for this, let me write it down this way. You see, we have y times this over that, and times theta. Let me put the y's together like this first y over y squared plus 1. And we multiply by theta times sine theta, and then the d theta after that. And now I just have to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this, right, to the other side. So let's go ahead, multiply by y squared, oh, y squared plus 1 over y, y squared plus 1 over y, so that this and that will cancel, this and that will cancel. Okay. And you know we can integrate both sides now, right? Look at this. y squared plus 1 over y to integrate that. Let me just split the fraction. y squared over y, we have y, okay? And then plus 1 over y. This is what I want to look at. And then we have the dy after that. And this is equal to theta times sine theta d theta. Now, integrate, integrate. Let's go ahead, do this first. The integral of y is just going to be 1 half y squared. So let me put this down as y squared over 2. And integral of 1 over y is plus absolute value, ln of absolute value of y, like this. Don't worry about the plus c. Let's do that on the right hand side. Okay, how can we integrate theta times sine theta? Integration by parts. And let's do that real quick with the di method right here, okay? So I put down d and the i, and then plus, minus, plus. Three rows is enough. Let me put down theta right here to be differentiated, and let me integrate sine theta. Differentiating theta one time, we get one, and then do it again, we get zero, so we stop. Integrating sine theta, we first get negative cosine theta, and then do it again. The integral of cosine theta is sine theta, and it's past the sine theta for now, right? But then we have to maintain the symbol, maintain the negative. Because once again, the integral of cosine theta is past the sine theta, but this was negative, so bring it down. And now, the product of the diagonals are the answer. That's really nice. So first, we will have positive theta times negative cosine theta. So that's negative theta because of this negative right here, and the theta, and we have the cosine theta, and we do negative 1 times this, so it becomes positive 1 times that, which is just that, sine theta. And this is it, because we have a 0 in the d column, so this is it. And now, we are going to put down plus c on the right hand side. I'm just going to write down plus c because um, I don't think there's a way for me to isolate the y. So our answer will have to be in the implicit form. Why cannot be isolated? I don't think so. So this is enough, okay? That's it for the solving part, for the integration part. Next, we have to solve for the C. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's see. Refer back to this. We know when x is equal to pi, uh, y will be 1. So plugging 1 to here, we have 1 squared 1 square over 2 and plus ln, absolute value of y, which is 1 right here. And this is going to be, we have negative, theta is pi, and then we have cosine, and theta is pi, and then we add it with, and let me put a parenthesis around the pi. And then right here, we have sine of theta is pi, and then we add a c after that. The c is all the way at the end. It's not inside of any of the sine or cosine functions. Okay, 1 squared is 1, divided by 2 is just 1 half. ln of 1 is 0, so only on the left hand side, we have 1 half. This is going to give us, okay, what's cosine of pi? 
cosine of pi is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative pi is going to give us positive pi. Plus uh, sine of pi, this right here is 0. So we just have plus c after that. And of course, we can subtract pi on both sides. Therefore, c will be 1 half minus pi. Okay? And we are pretty much done. All we have to do is just plug in this into the C. So let me write this down for you guys right here. We have y squared over 2 plus ln absolute value of y. And then this is equal to negative theta uh, cosine theta. And then we add the sine theta after that. And at the end, the C is all that. So we add 1 half minus pi. And once again, the C is not inside of the sine. And I think this is a clear. If you want to make it even more clear, just put parentheses around the cosine and sine. This right here is it. However, I have one little thing I want to add right here. Just one remark. Here we have ln of y with the absolute value, right? But in fact, we can drop the absolute value because when you have a solution to the differential equation, you have to make sure that the function is continuous. If you have the absolute value, in fact, it's not continuous. And second of all, uh, you know to pick the positive version is because you have y is equal to positive 1. You get to plug in positive 1 in here. Ln of positive 1 is doable, it's 0, right? So you can just replace that with a parenthesis if you like. This is okay, and this is a continuous curve. And let me just write this down right here for you guys. Ln absolute value of y. This means you have two things to look for. This is either Ln of regular y or Ln of negative y. Right here, if y you know is greater than zero, you use the positive version. If y is less than zero, you use the negative version. Because less than zero with the negative, negative, negative will give you positive. It becomes doable. In another word, if earlier we found out y of pi is equal to, let's say, this is negative 5, negative 10, any negative numbers. Right here, I will replace this with ln of negative y. Okay. Anyways, this is the most legitimate answer. But then if you put down absolute value earlier, uh, I will only take a one point on the test. <laughs>